finally from me today, remembering the great Sergio Mendes. If Pele put Brazil on the map in terms of world football, Sergio Mendes did the same for Brazilian music. He died yesterday at the age of 83. He'd been suffering from the impact of long-term COVID. I was lucky enough to see him perform in Washington only a couple of years ago, and he was something really special. The man who sharpened the sound of Bossa Nova and got people all over the world to adore it. Bossa Nova mostly was very minimalist. You know, a guitar and a singer, very quiet, and so I wanted to disturb. Being in Brazil and being born in Rio, I was surrounded by music on the streets. So that was really the beginnings of my musical life. When the Bossa Nova started in 1959, I put together an instrumental group called the Bossa Rio Sextet. In 1962, they had the first Bossa Nova concert at Carnegie Hall, and they invited my band. There was this song called Masquinada that became a huge hit. First time that a song in Portuguese <laughs> became a hit, and people loved that all over the world. Phone rings, and this guy said, listen, I love your music, and I want to meet you. My name is Will I Am. I have a band, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to make a record, you know. Working with those people, touring with those people, and making records with those people. So that was an incredible experience for me. I love playing shows, traveling. It's exciting for me to be on stage and rehearsing and all that, and maybe write a song with somebody. This is what I love to do, and this is what I'm going to do forever. <laughs> Sergio Mendez. He was talking there to the Association of American Retired People, which is ironic because unlike them, he never did. His final show in London was in November of last year. Maybe some of you were lucky enough to see it. Sergio Mendez, dead at the age of 83.